everybody. Welcome to another episode of In the Out Outdoors, where we do everything fishing, everything camping, everything cooking. As long as it's outdoors, we want to do it. Um, it's been a while since I've been out, so I've just been dying to get out. I'm going to head out. We're going to do some camp and cook in the truck. I'm hoping that we can get into a parking lot and do a camp and cook in the Morgan Wallen concert. I don't know if they're going to let us, so that's why I got the cowboy hat on tonight. One reason. Um, so that'd be really cool if we can do the camp and cook in the uh, parking lot outside the amphitheater and listen to Morgan Wallen. Uh, for those of you that don't know, he's a country singer. Um, if we can't do that, then we might head to the river or to the side of the road. Who knows? I'll have to figure it out. But uh, either way, we're going to do a camp and cook tonight. Um, and we're going to be cooking Big Mac. So I'm going to do the McDonald's Big Mac and French fries. Uh, I got to stop by the store really quick. And then um, we're going to head out and see if we can get into the uh, amphitheater parking lot and if we can cook there. Um, I appreciate you guys joining in. Sorry it's been a long time. For those of you that have been following, you know I just started a new job. So I've been humping on that. So I've just been dying to get out anyway. So I'm excited to get out. It's a beautiful day. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you haven't been here before, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Hit that like button and comment. It's really going to help me grow. We do a lot of catch and cooks, camping cooks, truck camping, all that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, let's go by the store, get the rest of the ingredients we need for the Big Mac and then um, head over to the amphitheater and see if they're going to let us cook in the parking lot. I'll see you guys over there. Oh man, I'm not going to lie guys. I could have stayed in that store forever. It was so nice. But uh, <laughs> anyway, on with the adventure, we're headed to the amphitheater. All right, so we're in line. Um, my girlfriend texted me and said she doesn't think you can eat in the parking lot because her and her mom uh, like uh, uh, worked at a concert up here and they were eating pizza in the parking lot and they were like, hey, you can't eat out in the parking lot. So right now we're just going to kind of go in, see what happens. Uh, people are like really <laughs> excited and driving like crazy. And uh, so, um, yeah, we're going to go in, see what happens. And then uh, if it just falls apart, we'll just get out of there and go cook somewhere. So what I was going to tell you guys while we're in line here is another reason I have the uh, cowboy hat It's because for those of you that don't know or haven't watched any of my past episodes, I used to team rope. So not professionally or anything, but I did a lot of team roping for a couple years. And I was a header, had a couple horses, and did all that stuff. So I'm definitely not a stranger to uh, the country scene, to a cowboy hat. But I uh, did a little rodeo sporting back in the day. I still love riding horses, but uh, don't rope anymore. <clears throat> dislocated my shoulders and stuff coming off of horses which I try not to do but uh, yeah this is looking pretty good like there's some spots out here they're definitely like out of the way spots and I'm wondering if I should turn now but I can't there's big rocks in the road everywhere so um, geez oh, oh 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 boy everybody wants to get in all these people are lining up to get in. Um, <laughs> we'll see what happens, fingers crossed. I'm trying to do a camp and cook at Morgan Wallen concert. Look at this madhouse. Let's go, smash that subscribe button. Hit that like button. I'm trying to cook a Big Mac up in here. I'd actually like to get right back there underneath that sign we're here uh time to make a big mac man let's do a little camping cook <laughs> yeah baby i'm gonna be spending my first night in the back of my truck my first night in my truck camper i'm pretty new to this whole truck camping stuff. yep watching a little bit of mav the man um so it's about 6 45 guys uh it's hot i'm gonna wait maybe like an hour or two before i jump in the back and start cooking so uh, maybe like about 8.30, 8, 8.30. I'll kind of see how it goes. Once it cools down, settles down, and the parking people aren't like running all over the place, I'll go ahead and try to jump in the back of the truck. But I'm going to watch a little map, maybe some Northwest Fishing Secrets. So just a little update. Um, I take my boots off. I got in the back and got my uh, shorts and stuff, but it's hard to change up in the cab. And uh, I had to take my boots and socks off. I put a little water on my head and stuff like it's only 7.30, but it's so hot. It's still 104 out. And um, so there's these, just these like orange cones. I don't know if you guys can see them. There's one just like barely showing there behind that, that 4Runner's back tire. But I'm waiting for the 
guys to come through and like pick up all the orange cones so we can pull, actually pull out of here when the concert's over so i think it's cooler in the back um actually because i'm facing the sun and it's nice and shaded back there sorry if you guys hear the highway i know it's kind of loud but uh so yeah just a little update how to take my boots off i'm definitely going to put my shorts on um i'm enjoying myself out here though i'm super excited i'm a little like nervous and scared this is sort of my first stealth truck maybe like in the city truck camp so um yeah we'll see how it goes okay they just walked behind me so i'm gonna jump in the truck coming to start to get the can you see that that truck out there with the flashing lights I think that's the truck coming to get the uh, cones so I don't know where the people are on foot but I'm gonna go ahead and set up and uh, start making up the sauce in here I think I can do it laying down so I can stay hid so let's do that I was wrong it's a tow truck Somebody's parked in the way. So I googled what would be like the good Big Mac. And this one had a lot of good ratings. So we got, uh, we're gonna make the sauce out of um, mayonnaise, French dressing, sweet relish, dill pickle juice, sugar, minced onion, ketchup, and salt. So I'm gonna start making up the uh, sauce right now. All right, so I didn't bring anything to mix the sauce in, not like a little bowl or something. So we're gonna use the mayonnaise. Ooh. All right, I already got, well, yeah, it'll fit. I think the rest of the stuff should fit in there. It's not much, it's mostly mayonnaise. So I'm gonna put the rest of it in there. Up. A little bit of dill, a little bit of dill pickle juice, Some onion. Here, check this out. So that's what we're looking like so far. All right. So we're gonna mix some onion right now because it calls for it in the sauce and on the burger. Onion for one Big Mac. Probably finally cooled down to about 90. Be a guess. Feels good. I don't know if you guys can hear that highway through the windows, but maybe it's making a breeze, but oh man. the carbon monoxide I got both my windows open the back hatch leaks there's a really nice breeze going through they still haven't got these cones wish they couldn't get these cones it's 
feel a lot better knowing they weren't going to come by to grab these cones. So this is really my first time like stealth cooking in the truck and uh, just having these people walk all around and uh, you know doing this Big Mac and it's really exciting actually. I wish that it wasn't so hot and that I had all the windows tinted out because it'd be so nice to be able just to sit up in here and not have to worry about ducking. Of course I know it's dark in here. Actually I should probably turn some lights on. I don't know if that's going to help much, but that's all I got for now. <laughs> um, all right, get this ready. Somebody's driving by. We're almost there. Ooh, those are hot. All right, we're gonna start plating it. Special sauce. Slice of cheese. pickles with some more sauce onion 
Another slab of cheese. <laughs> I know I'm not putting this together in the right order, but <laughs> some special sauce. All right, there we go, guys. This one hell of a Big Mac. We're eating 108 degrees. Park it at the Bull of Island concert. Big old McDonald's Big Mac. I know it's getting dark. Here we go. Oh, Jesus. Fries are nice and crispy. It's so big when you make them for real. It's actually a real Big Mac. You can barely keep it together. Mmm, it's so good. Hell yeah. One of you had asked about how I learned to cook. and Well, I worked for a pub in the summers. And then I'd go snowboarding in the winter. I was a snowmaker at uh, Heavenly Valley in Lake Tahoe. And I did that for a couple years around like 99, 2000, 2001. And so when I'd come back in the summer and work for this pub... It was a huge pub, not a huge pub, but like it would get really full. It was this old, uh, like old, old house that they turned into a bar way out in the country. So people had to drive way out to get there and it would just fill up and they have a band going on the floor and there was only two of us that would cook. So if I was on the grill, I had one backup cook and that was it. There's probably like, you know, 70, 80, 90 tables in there. And um, we just start cooking and cooking, maybe bringing us water or soda. Get later in the night, you know, maybe a little something in your soda or, or a beer. But, um, and I just cooked so fast, but it had to be good or it'd get sent back. So I learned a lot. They had different dishes, like all burgers and sandwiches, but then they'd always incorporate like, like a steak dish, a fish dish, some pastas. So I learned to cook the high pasta that I did in the um, gourmet seafood pasta truck camping cook that I did. So that's pretty much how I learned to cook those couple of years working at that pub. That's where I kind of learned to bartend too, although I forgot a lot of that stuff. But yeah, I really appreciate you guys. It's been fun. I don't know if you could feel how nervous I was, but I was pretty dang nervous about getting in here. Sorry, I had to take a bite. It's nine o'clock. I've been waiting since three, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. I really appreciate you guys watching till the end here. Oh man, this thing is so, this is like three Big Macs. It's gotta be like three regular Big Macs. Mmm. I'm blown away. Anyway guys, it's getting dark. It's nine o'clock. I'm going to finish this up, clean up my hands and stuff, and probably take my shirt off and cool down, and I bet I'll pass out. Have a beer. Anyway, I really appreciate you guys sticking it out with me. Drop a comment, hit the like, and subscribe. Until next time. I'll see you guys in the woods, or maybe the parking lot. We're getting the cones right now, but I gotta go hide. I don't think you guys can see me, but uh, yeah, we made it. We're getting the cones right now. All right, I gotta hide. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Is this all that you dreamed it?